Hey there, Screaming Ghost Face fans, how's it going? I'm your host, Douglas Rear Dromboy Productions, bringing you another Screaming Ghost Face Collector's video. In today's video, we will not be featuring a bunch of different masks or screen use props, but we do have a costume that is pretty damn rare. Today we're going to be taking a look at a pretty unique Ghostface costume with the Scream 4 Collector's Edition costume. This one in particular is pretty odd. You would look at this and think it's already been opened, right? But apparently this is exactly how they were sold on shelves in Kmart. A bit weird given the fabric type, and we'll get into that in a minute, but... Very peculiar packaging choice on these costumes, but maybe they were either trying to save on money to keep from having to buy the plastic bags, or maybe they were unavailable at the time. I have no clue, but regardless, here it is. The insert on the front here shows the full Ghostface Collector's Edition costume being worn. He's wearing a EU stamp mask, and of course he's wielding that tiny, weird, terrible knife. What should we even call this thing? Like the curved edge buck? Regardless, the rest of the costume is pretty cool. This is the adult size classic costume. They retailed for $40, so 40 bucks brand new in stores. It says for the contents, you have the hooded robe with draped sleeves, ghost face mask, belt, and two gloves. One size fits most up to 6 foot 200 pounds. And uh, yeah, collector's edition costume, that's pretty much it. If you're curious about the manufacturer's date on this, this is an April 2011 costume. And this was sold directly by Kmart, so it is Kmart branded on the barcode. As for the mask that's featured on this, this is possibly the weirdest part. What we have here is an ultra-white mold mask, but this isn't just an ultra-white mold. This is an actual ultra-white with the collector's edition style shroud material as a bib. This is very peculiar. I have seen many collector's edition style masks, including of course the standard EU. There's the TD stamp. They made those during this time period. They did also make an ultra-white mold glow-in-the-dark mask with a full shroud. However, I've never seen one that's an ultra-white non-glow mask with a collector's edition shroud or bib like this one. So this is a, definitely a first, very peculiar. Also featured in here are some gloves that are made of the same material. As you guys already know, I have massive hands. There's no way they'll fit me. If I try to put them on, I will guaranteed rip them. There's no point in me opening up this mask, so I am going to leave it sealed. I will replace it with a standard EU mask to be worn alongside this, which is essentially going to be the same thing as what would have been worn, but I just wanted to let you guys know, because that's such a weird oddity, I don't think I'll be opening this. If anyone else out there has one of these, or has seen one with the non-glow mask, specifically with the weird collector's edition shroud bib, let me know in the comment section down below, because this is the first one I've ever seen. But enough about the mask, you're here to see the costume. And since I'm not going to be opening up the mask and the gloves anyway, there's no point to continue to talk about them. However, the only thing that's holding the robe on are two of these clips. They were just clipped up here. I have technically already re-recorded this intro because camera problems, but regardless, everything is still pretty much sealed exactly how it would be. The plastic tab does run through the mask bag. So this is all connected, but you can easily just slip the costume right off of the hanger, no problem whatsoever. So it's kind of like I'm opening this, but I'm not really. At this point, the only thing we have to worry about is me ripping this, trying to put it on. I almost forgot, but there is a tag actually attached directly to the costume, and I will not be removing this whenever I wear it. So uh, just be forewarned about that. But, of course, it does have the April 2011 date on it. It has price on it as well. So I guess if the robe was taken off of the full thing like I just did in stores, you would still have to pay $40 for the robe by itself. But yeah, let's take a look at it. As far as construction, so far it seems to be pretty similar to the standard Fun World Ghostface costume. It seems to be patterned almost exactly the same way. Maybe the bottom... No, the bottoms are just normal triangle cuts as well. Hope I'm holding this high enough that you guys can see it. They're a little bit tattered because of the material style, but outside of that, it doesn't seem like they tried to make it any differently. It's just made out of this material. And if we take a look at the hood here, it looks to be pretty much the same construction as the normal Ghostface costume that's just made out of this material. 
It does have a slit up the back and the neck, as well as a piece of ribbon where you can tie it once you put the full thing on. But outside of that, I mean, it's pretty basic, guys. There's not much to talk about. It has a belt, which is essentially just a strip of the same material you tie around your waist. But as we all know, Ghostface doesn't really wear a belt, so there's no need to even wear it. It looks more accurate without it. The gloves are made of the same material, and overall, if the costume fits you fine, then I think it would look great to wear those with this. But for me, like I said, there's no point in even trying. I would definitely rip the gloves. And looking at this thing, putting it on, I'm taking a big risk, guys. There's probably going to be some rippage at some point. I guess we'll find out when we get to the worn shots, but at this point, you guys want to hear my thoughts on the costume overall. I mean... At the time, it seemed like it was kind of an interesting thing, the way that it was being promoted. And they are, they're cool costumes, but knowing how the material affects the masks, it's kind of a negative thing, you know? And also, if I'm being honest, is it a cooler looking material? Maybe, kind of, but at the same time, it's so easy to rip that I can't really argue that this is a better costume than the standard polyester robes that Fun World puts out. For a Halloween costume, for durability reasons, and even just for look, I think maybe those are a little bit better. These are nice, and it's cool how they have that matte black fabric look, but at the same time, just knowing how easy it is for them to get destroyed, I wouldn't really want to risk wearing this to a convention or for Halloween. Now, of course, back then, it was just a Halloween costume meant to be worn for Halloween. Now, these are collector's items. So especially now, if you get a hold of something like this, it's probably not worth it to do it. I must say though, they do look pretty darn close to the Scream Resurrection style robes. For the longest time, I thought that there was a possibility that they actually just used these in the show. But I don't think that's the case. Um, these do look great though, so if you're trying to put together one of those costumes or a display, I would say maybe search for one of these, but they're pretty hard to come across, especially brand new, in good condition, like what I just showed you guys. They're pretty pricey and they're pretty rare costumes. So overall, while they're not wildly different, they definitely are a little bit different than your standard ghost face costume. Even if you're including all the different variants with different masks, it's still the same robe with a different mask. This is an entirely different robe, at least what it's made out of, but it seems the construction is pretty much exactly the same. Anyways, I've rambled on for long enough. You guys may have already clicked off the video, but if you're still watching, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you all. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy these close-up shots and worn shots. See you next time.